गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद वसीम अक्रम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन माई वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज आई हैव बिन टीचिंग दिस कोर्स फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स विल बी वेरी यूजफुल टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो कीप वॉचिंग लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल थैंक यू in this lecture we will learn about factors affecting compaction there are basically four factors water content compactive effort types of soil and method of compaction which affect the compaction of soil let us discuss one by one that is water content what will be the effect of water con content on compaction usually to show the effect of water content we plot a graph between water content and dry unit weight of the soil this curve is called compaction curve water content on x axis and dry unit weight on uh, y axis what we see the graph is initially increasing up to certain limit after that it will start decreasing when the water content increases the curve or you can say dry density a dry unit weight decreases there are two tests we will discuss in the next lecture that is standard proctor and modified proctor same pattern will show in modified proctor also initially the when the water content increases the dry density also increases but up to certain limit after that it will decrease when the moisture content increases this curve is unique for a given soil type method of compaction and compactive effort the peak point of the compaction curve corresponding to the maximum dry unit weight is gamma d max the water content corresponding to the maximum dry unit weight is known as the optimum moisture content abhi hum kya dekh rahe hain ki jaise jaise hum water content increase kar rahe hain kya ho raha density bhi badhti ja rahi hai at optimum moisture content density is maximum after that ye kya ho raha hai density ghat ja rahi hai aisa kyun ho raha hai iske piche do logic hai aur do explanation hai as per proctor's explanation he explained the typical moisture content dry unit weight relationship with the help of lubrication theory another explanation was given by lem in 1958 he uses the concept of soil structure and electrical double layer theory to explain the effect of water content on the dry unit weight of the soil from this equation we can see the dry unit weight depends on the water content and degree of saturation for a given water content the theoretical maximum value of dry unit weight for a compacted soil is obtained corresponding the situation when no air voids are left that is when the degree of saturation is 100% in this equation if we put degree of saturation is 100% we get zero air void density zero air void density is defined as the maximum dry unit weight that one can ideally obtain for a soil at a given water content by applying compaction if the zero air void density is calculated for different water content values and plotted alongside compaction curve a zero air void curve is obtained see this line is zero air void line likewise the line for other degree of saturation such as Uh, s is equal to 90% s is equal to 80% can also be drawn sometimes it is more convenient to draw lines corresponding to different percentage air voids note 
some important point regarding zero error word line the saturation line is a hypothetical line points on the line denote density for completely saturated condition at respective water content it is the maximum dry density for any soil practically it is not possible to achieve this density so it is almost hypothetical ya hum aisa ek nahi kar sakte hain just ye hypothetical hai remember the zero air void line obtained for 100% saturation and 0% air voids are identical but it is not same for other percentage it means 10% air void lines and 90% satura saturation lines are not identical another factor affecting the compaction is compactive effort for a given type of compaction the higher the compaction compactive effort the higher the maximum dry unit weight and the lower the optimum moisture content here in this figure we can see we have two curve the standard proctor test and modified proctor test in case of modified proctor test the effort is higher compactive effort is higher that is why we can see the optimum moisture content is lower as compared to the standard proctor but the dry density maximum dry density is much much higher as compared to standard proctor and the line joining the optimal point is called line of optimum this brings out the fact that even a higher compactive effort does not result in a higher efficiency of compaction the degree of saturation at omc remains almost the same in all cases another factor which affect the compaction is type of soil here in this figure we can see we have different curves for different type of soil like curve number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 curve number 1 is for this curve is for well graded to loamy sand curve number 2 is for well graded sandy loam curve number 3 is for mid graded uh, sandy loam curve number 4 is uh, for lean sandy silty clay five is uh, lean silty clay curve four is lucile silt and uh, seven is heavy clay and eight is this curve eight is for poorly graded sand so when the compaction curve that is curve between dry unit weight and water content also depends on the type of soil from this curve we observe that coarse grain soil well graded compact to high dry unit weights especially if they contain some fines however if the quantity of fines is excessive maximum dry unit weight decreases poorly graded or uniform sands leads to the lowest dry unit value in clay soil the maximum dry unit weight tends to decrease as plasticity increases cohesive soil have generally high value of optimum moisture content heavy clay with high plasticity have low maximum dry density dry unit weight and very high optimum moisture content these are the observation based on the eight curve which i have shown earlier now let us discuss the compaction curve for sand this is a special case usually what we have seen as the water content increases initially the density also uh, density de 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 increases at the optimum moisture content after that it will start decreasing but in case of sand if we increase the water content the density first decreases up to limit usually it is 4 to 5% percent. 
after that it starts decreasing when it reaches higher up when the it is complete saturation up to the complete saturation the low density that is obtained at low water content here is due to capillary force resisting resisting arrangements of the sand grains and this is called bulking of the so bulking of sand is maximum bulking occurs at water content about 4 to 5% maximum dry unit weight results when the soil is either dry or completely saturated yahan pe hum dekh sakte hain is curve mein ki for in case of sand maximum dry density is either the soil is fully dry or completely saturated ye do halat mein sand ki डेंसिटी सबसे ज़्यादा होती है एट फोर टू फाइव परसेंट द डेंसिटी इज लो आफ्टर सेचुरेशन वेन द वाटर कंटेंट इंक्रीजेज द डेंसिटी स्टार्ट डिक्रीजिंग अंदर फैक्टर दैट इफेक्ट द कॉम्पैक्शन इज मेथड ऑफ कॉम्पैक्शन डाई डेंसिटी अचीव्ड ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन द मेथड ऑफ कॉम्पैक्शन whether the method utilizes kneading action dynamic action or static action here in the figure we can see for the same soil if the method of compaction is changes the curve is also changes in here in case of laboratory static compaction curve number 1 curve number 2 is modified astro compaction curve number 3 is standard proctor compaction curve number 4 is laboratory static compaction 5 is field compaction rubber triad loaded six pa passes and 6 field compaction sheep foot roller six passes so same soil if the method of compaction is Uh, different then it has different dry unit weight versus water content that is different compaction curve means uh, optimum moisture content and maximum dry density will be different for different type of compaction here in this table different compaction techniques laboratory as well as field methods are summarized for coarse grain soil and fine grain soils for coarse grain soil the laboratory technique is vibrating hammer but in the field the coarse grain is compacted by hand operated vibration plates motorized vibratory rollers rubber tired equipments and free falling weight dynamic compactions for fine grain soil the uh, it is compacted in the laboratory by falling weight and hammer kneading compactor static loading and press but in the field the fine grain soil is compacted by hand operated tamper tempers sheep foot rollers and rubber tired rollers so this is all about the factors affecting compaction of the soil like comment share and subscribe our channel thank you